corner. <laughs> Hi guys, welcome on and happy, happy Sunday. Tiffany here from Tiffany Gordon Cosplay and it's Saturday. We're streaming on a Saturday. Oh, and I'm 30 minutes late to my own Sunday. Apologies for that. Um, I've been a bit behind this morning. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but I hope everybody has been doing well today. Uh, morning, uh, Wizard Graham. New York Adam, Daniel, Celtic Bard, Crimson, and uh, anybody else that is watching, lurking, or watching later on the Cosplay YouTube. Hello, hello. Um, so today is sub day, the day that is dedicated to my sub community here on Twitch to say thank you for your support so that way I can continue to do this as my full-time job. Yay! <laughs> yep, yep. I know, we were supposed to start earlier. Yeah, we know, we've been trying to start sub days at 10, um, but this morning it just, it didn't work. It didn't work, so yeah. <laughs> but uh, y'all voted, so what happens for sub day is um, my sub community here for Twitch gets to give me suggestions on what they would like me to make in one day, one stream. And uh, from that, I look through all of the suggestions, see, what can I really make in a day? Cause you know, sometimes they're not a one day suggestion. Um, so from that, I then let our sub community vote for what they'd like me to make. And this month, y'all wanted me to make Umaru's hamster hoodie. So we're gonna be doing that today. Um, more, it's our first one day like sewing uh, kind of sub day. Uh, we've made in the past the Highland Shield from Legends of Zelda and uh, Klee's backpack from Genshin. Um, yeah, did we make something else? I think those are the only two things, and this is our, our next one. So yeah, if I'm missing something, let me know. I'm a little scatterbrained. But um, other announcements, so we didn't stream yesterday. Uh, I had to do stuff with Gamescon. If you don't know, I am this year a jury member or a judge for the costly competition for Gamescon, which is happening next week. So yay happy about that but uh that's really the only announcement that we have um i'm a bit behind on things you know it, it's typical it's typical um but yeah <laughs> so let's just get started and it's a, a wee bit bright so i think i might have to change our blinds as you can see it's like you can't see anything here bright light bright light ah! <laughs> but yeah hi major really welcome on let me try this and then I'm gonna flip the flip this. We'll change it in a bit. But that way we can actually kind of see some stuff. Excellent, excellent. So let me flip over. Do, 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 do. Yep, it is 10.40. I have to adjust everything now since I closed the blinds. My bad. Um. <laughs> Cat cam, configure. Let's make the exposure one more brighter. Come on, move. Okay, it's on auto. I don't want on auto. Boop, there we go. I'll apply, and then we're gonna change my face cam also. Come figure, we'll make it one more brighter too. Boop, that's a little better. All right. <laughs> I make all these wonderful adjustments to our stream just to change it all again when I go live. Excellent, excellent. So, hi guy, welcome on. <laughs> so yeah, um, I have, I didn't really plan on how we were gonna make this too much. We're not going off of a pattern or anything. We're just, gonna wing it just it's kind of how we do all of our stuff here but um I lucked out and I didn't have to go to San Antonio to get fabric which is really nice because that's like an hour and 40 minute drive one way and then an hour 40 back so Hobby Lobby actually had the fleece that we needed um hopefully it's enough we got like everything there so yeah Yee, it's soft it's soft <laughs> And then uh, I did really quickly this morning, which this set me back. Um, I made little little patterns so that way I knew the shapes Yee. for us to cut out for the hoodie. Uh, Laura, thank you for the new follow. Nice stuff. Well, I got a button that we're gonna have to hand sew. And then we have black and white felt. So this one has the adhesive back. 
Uh, so we'll see how my sewing machine likes going through this. If not, we can remove the adhesive on the back of it. It's not, it, it's not too, too strong. And then of course our thread. So that's really like everything that we should use today. I don't plan on using anything else, but I don't know. So your goal today was be less of a snack and more like a happy meal. <laughs> okay. <laughs> interesting, interesting. All right, so I wanna start off by first doing our little faces. I'll put this up here. Oh, and if you, you can kind of notice, uh, that way I moved the sewing machine for our stream today. So you can still kind of see me and you have a better angle. I don't like my room set up like this. It's not comfortable for me, but it's better for y'all. So, yup, yup. <laughs> okay, so let's get started. Fluffles left already. Okay. And I'm gonna film this whole process too, so that way we have a shorter tutorial for anybody that wants to make it and not watch like a however long this is gonna take um, video. So yeah. On the most uh, just planners, preppers, we winged it today because that's what we do here. <laughs> when I go into making my costumes, I have a general idea, but I just kind of do it. And most of the time it works out. Uh, like I'd say like 90% of the time, whatever, whatever I decide to do when it comes to cosplay making, it works out. And the other 10% of the time is like an absolute epic fail. Just a wee bit, just a wee bit. Um, but yeah. How's everybody today? Anybody at work today? I know Daniel, I think you work in the mornings typically uh, today. I think maybe Adam is at work. All right. So you cut out our little circle. I've not had a Dr. Pepper yet this morning either, so. But yeah, yesterday I had to be up at like, I normally wake up on my own around like 8.15 without an alarm. And yesterday I had to wake up at seven and then it's in like a meeting from 8.40 until like 12.20. I was a wee bit fried, a wee bit scatterbrained. And then today I had my alarm go off at eight and I was so exhausted and Fluff freaked out. She jumped up and was like, meow, meow, meow. Like, what is that? Because she's not used to my alarm anymore since I, I haven't had it on for like a few weeks now. And, oh, it, yeah, yeah. I got sleep, but a little, little tired still, as always. Same old, same old, same old, same old. So yeah, this is our, our little face with the, the mouth, the nose, the eyes, and the, the eyebrow-y things. They're, I'm doing it a little bit larger than the show's one, uh, just so you can kind of see it. The show one is like teeny tiny, or if anybody's watched the show. Tired. <laughs> I, I keep thinking you're working right now, I'm sorry. <laughs> I forget when your vacations are. Nope, except for Sunday night, you don't work until next Sunday. Ooh, long break. Very nice, very nice. Yeah, I did. I did work on Hinata a tiny bit yesterday. I attached the collar and changed the height of some stuff. Um, but yeah, I've, I've just been so busy with everything else. I've been wanting to finish some stuff that we've had. And like the contact lenses, 
sponsor stuff, I had to do that, and that took up some time from making cosplays, and, ah. Hi, Fuffleys. Yeah? Oh, really? Good girl. No, it's still on vacation for the third or fourth, I know, I know. When do you go back then? Do you go back on Monday? But hey, at least I remember kind of your schedule though. Okay, there's all of our pieces that we really need. Um, I called it thus. Monday afternoon is the travel work on Tuesday. Oh, okay. That's nice. You have like the full weekend then. So, like, technically, you could put it on the back. Oh, I could draw it on the back instead. Oh, oh, smart thinking, smart thinking. Because then I can trace it and we can cut it off of the back and not have marks on the front. Smart thinking. Okay. For our black, we need those three pieces. Hi, Helm, welcome on. I know, we love Umaru. <laughs> oh, Monty. That's all I think every time I hear it. Okay. Doodly doodly do. Hope you're doing well today. So that side, we put it here and trace, we only need one of these. So I didn't plan on gluing these, I plan on sewing, but we'll see. We'll see. And one more. There we go. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, I don't know if we're still covered. No, good. Good, 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 good. Okay, scissors, scissors, scissors. Wish all, wish all. Fluff has found her happy spot in the corner. mosquitoes so bad here. Luckily, mosquitoes don't tend to bite me too much, but sometimes, like, they get bad. I'm just gonna cut all of that. Yeah, this is the same stuff we used for the inside of the sheath uh, for Alice.
ever considered being a prop designer? Um, I mean, the issue I have with like making stuff, like I, I'm open for doing commissions for businesses and like conventions, uh, for like actual conventions, not for people to wear at conventions. Um, props are a bit more expensive, just the amount of material to use it and working with people, a lot of people want something for like under $50 when material cost is way above that and like, as this is my business. I just can't be bothered to really deal with a lot of people of answering the same question over and over again. And yeah. And I don't really wanna, I don't wanna make for like the basic community. I'm doing all the tutorials and things for that, so. I would love to make, make stuff for gaming companies. I've done a few. And that's what I enjoy the most, so. If we wanted to be really lazy bums, we could just use some fabric glue and, and glue all this on instead. Maybe, maybe, maybe. We'll need to do a test. We'll use this as our little test and see how, how sewing it works. Okay. Those are those pieces. So now we need to cut out the white pieces. Which is with this one. That'll work. Eat. Hi, Yosha. Welcome on. How are you today? Of course, my dad's calling right now. <laughs> no, go away. Go away. And then for this one, we need to cut out the little hamster mouth. And we need two little I was gonna say eyes, but these aren't eyes. These are um, the ear parts. <laughs> good just relaxing how are you doing well a little tired we're, we're up early i mean normal time but um <laughs> behind on stuff so yeah we can put this up okay and two cups up i did play a bit of a monster hunter and i I don't quite understand that, um, so I'm doing Monster Hunter Rise, and there are two quest areas. There's, like, the main hub part, which if you do those, it levels you up, but then there's the town ones, and, like, I didn't discover the hub ones till like, a lot later, but I'm level two right now, but I'm doing in the town, all of my quests are, like, level four, and I'm about to go into level five, and I don't know if this is normal or not. Um, so yeah. And all of my critters are, are like, I think my cat and my dog are both level 19 out of 20. So yeah. <laughs> I'm 
Yee! Uh, peanut butter and jelly time. Thank you for the new follow. Much love. two friends who they gave me their information or like I sent them the information request thing but they haven't approved and I've just been playing it by myself and I wish there was other people like when we played Monster Hunter Worlds on PC I had a lot more friends that played it because it was PC and oh it was a lot of fun but now I'm like all, all soloing everything and it's fine but it's it's very much like I wish I wish more people were on it so yeah. Oh, bubblies. Hey, Papa. Bubblies. You gonna rub your box? Okay, she's gonna become a box cat now instead. So. So yeah, here's all of our little pieces. So our little ears, little mouth. This did not turn into a very good circle at all. done right <laughs> I'm curious on how long this actually is gonna take us for making yee spider wookie thank you for the new follow next one all right we can put this to the side oh I know what I want to do so now that we have these pieces, I want to do a little sample sewing to see if we want to sew it or to see if we're going to glue it. Um, yeah. Let me get all of our fabric. It's, I don't understand with it, but it has like a, a black line at the bottom, which is really annoying. So I guess that's like part of the fabric or something, but it, yeah, it bugs me. <laughs> Cliff, welcome on. Do you have work today, Mr. Secret Agent Guy? We must know, we must know. Okay, I'm just gonna cut a little, little piece. You say six hours, maybe? I don't think it's gonna be that long. I'd be really surprised if we go six hours with this. But I mean, I do plan on like eating food and talking and yeah, so there might be that. Okay, we're gonna do a little sample with our stitching. So let me flip our camera real quick. Let's see if y'all like our camera angle today. 
Oh, and I need to get chat on my phone. The yummy kind of food. Um, I have Jimmy John scheduled to come around like 12:30 ish. I was planning 12, but because we started 30 minutes later, I wanted to make sure it was like two hours beforehand, and not just like an hour and a half. Okay. We'll see how y'all like this one. Three hours for yours. Two hours for the one you made. Okay. Good try, good try. You jelly, yeah. I love Jimmy John's, it's so yummy. Okay, how do, how do you like this angle? You can see like the side of me today. Totally not on a job at the moment. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, what do I have in there? I have white, so we'll just use white. The only thing, so that's like the most I can kind of show y'all. So you can't see the, the side of the sewing machine whatsoever from this angle. What kind of food is Jimmy John's? Uh, it's like Subway, but 10 times better. Um, so a sandwich paste. But I think they have wraps now? Uh, I saw something about that. Interesting angle, and it's all blue. It'll probably get better once I open the blinds again, so. You know, like, so, like, I'm not a big fan of Subway, but Jimmy John's is different. Like, their bread is 10 times better. Kind of like if Witch Witch and Subway combined, it would be more Jimmy John's, I think. He sneaks up behind his target for the attack. His tone goes, yee, and the target is alerted. <laughs> yep, yep. You think it's better in some way, but if you're biased, yeah. Okay, so I'm just gonna, we're doing our test piece right now. So this has the adhesive bag. Uh, finally, I'm telling you this, your work is amazing. I know you're from, Instagram page and all your cosplayers are chef's kids. Aw, thank you very much. I appreciate it. And welcome to the stream. Yeah, we uh, typically, so today is a special stream. It's sub day. And we do this once a month to say thank you for uh, my sub community for their support. It does not stick very well, but it works. Um, but our normal streaming schedule is Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays from 1 p.m. Central Standard Time to 5. So happy you're able to make it. I know today is, um, Today's kind of like hit or miss for some people. Some people really like it because it's like their only time that they can come on the stream and some people are like, no, I can't make it. And they get sad, so. <laughs> uh, I feel awkward because my hand's right here, but I have to push the button. We're gonna do a few testing. So we'll do straight stitch and see, oh, I did not move my foot pedal. This is also a reason I was late starting the stream today. Cause this took a while to, to move. bit, but it's not going to be bad. That's 
that's what we're doing. Good job, good job. Great decision, chat. Y'all are doing excellent today. <laughs> okay, so we got that. Um, so let's get started then. Yeah, okay. I will flip back over to this one. Uh, that one. I know, we helped, we helped! <laughs> I think that one's pretty good for setup. It's sad when you miss uh, your streams too, so now you follow her on YouTube channel, but it's not the same, and it's great, uh, great though. Aw, them happy you're seeing them on YouTube. That was the whole point of, well, besides DMCA here, like, the VODs get deleted. But I like it to have everything set up on YouTube too, so people can, if they can't make Twitch, they can watch it there. It also has, like, since we started putting stuff on YouTube, um, our VODs, so... Yeah, it gives other people another spot. Okay, so we're gonna do the ears now. For that, we're basically gonna have our circle, but we wanna have um, extra around it, so. And then we're also gonna flip it inside out. So let me get some tracing paper. This one will work. But yeah, the, the YouTube stuff, it doesn't get too many views. I don't have a pencil in there. But I know the people that like to watch it on there um, are happy with it, so. Where are you at the view hours for YouTube? We are at 2,700 um, out of 4,000 that we need. So, we're getting there, yes, every day, slowly but surely, slowly but surely. Um, okay, we're gonna start with this. And then I'm just gonna record this too, cause why not? Gotta love cameras and cameras and cameras. Oh boy. Okay. So we've got like our circle for the ear. And then I kinda want Maybe, maybe like this shape. I don't, I think we might have to use some stuffing. I have a little bit so that way it can stay up. But uh, then we have this circle and then we're gonna want a little bit of seam allowance. And then we're gonna also do this part. I think we're gonna do that. Yeah. Hi, Crazy Monster Boss. Welcome on. Uh, hi, hope you are doing well. Yep, doing well today. Hope you are also. Happy sub day. Today we are making Omaru's hamster hoodie in one day. So, yes, yes, yes. <laughs> Make it a little, a little nicer. And get our, our shape exactly how I want it. And to cut it out. Yes, yes, yes. Let me try. Okay. Okay. Cheers, guys. Thanks for watching. Alrighty. Alrighty, alrighty, alrighty. <laughs> ah, to cut out. I think I got like three yards, so hopefully that's enough. Um, there wasn't any more. I 
epoxy hamper shape, so... Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, this one... I like this image more than the um, anime image of it. The All of the pieces on here are a lot more pronounced than the show. Where the show, they're all... Like, her face, or the hamster face, is not this size. It's like... This size is the little hamster face. Like, teeny tiny, you can't even see it. But we're kind of going more off of this, so it's a little bit larger. All right, you have to go out into the real world today. Hopefully back before you're done. Have a good stream. Thanks for stopping by and good luck with your uh, real world adventure. Yeah. <laughs> Star guarding was a bit of orange too. I think you're right with that. I think I like uh, airbrush painted some of the orange fabric or something, or I don't, I don't remember. I do have some orange fabric, <laughs> but it might just be it was like scraps I had laying around for something. starting to get hungry, but I've been kind of eating lunch early lately. I've been typically eating lunch around like 11.30, 11.40 now. Okay. projects that never sold it. Yeah, well I had, I know the orange, um, I had like an orange overall like jumpsuit for military stuff and I've used that before making like an inmate suit where I had a piece of orange fabric and then I wrote like the number and put it on the back for like a costume, so. Oh, nice crimson. <laughs> okay, there's our, our little cute little eerie ears. All of those, so these are then going to be sewn together with these. Our little earrings. Okay, which one do we want to align? Thank you. And you. Yeah, I have a sneeze coming too. <laughs> hi, Fluffles. You want to say hi? Come here. Wah, little flop. Want to say hi to everyone? Yeah. You a good kitty? You're a good kitty. She's been so lovely lately. I like it. No, thanks. I think I think I muted the mic. I hope I did. kitty emote. Oh, it makes me happy. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So now we need to put this in the center. Alrighty. <laughs> yeah, that's fluff. We have Fluff my kitty and then, or Fluffadoos, Flufflepuff, yeah. And then uh, we have Sir Chez, my little rabbit. Put you there. Hi, Marie, welcome on, how are you? 
and happy sub day. I did, but you also said, okay, okay, okay. I try, I try to mute the mic as much as possible if I sneeze, because I don't want it to be like, noisy! Yeah, today we are making Umaru's hamster hoodie in one day. So, there we go, there we go. Now we can sew it. So let me bring him over there, make sure she's not behind me, because she likes to lay around. Write it down, write it sure. down! <laughs> Daniel, thank you for gifting a re a sub to the channel. Much love and happy sub day. I will write it down. Daniel, you saw the thing. Yeah. Yep, it is Omaro's hamster hoodie, the little orange thingy over here. It's from an anime, which one day I will do a watch party for y'all so y'all know what it is. But it's like one of my favorite animes. It's so relaxing. Write it thank down, you. write it down. <laughs> Aw, Daniel, thank you also for gifting a peanut butter and jelly a sub to the channel as well. Much love and make sure to say thank you to him. Uh, one, two subs, got it. I got it, got it. You think little ears are cute. This lady's gonna. I know. Well, so the whole thing about this character, she is a high school student who lives with her write brother. Write it down. Write it down. <laughs> Thank you also for giving uh, Hell Humor Head a sub as well. Um, but yeah, so she's a high school student who's like super pretty during the day. She's popular. She's like everything. Everybody thinks that she's proper. And then when she comes home. She goes into gremlin mode and like I, I relate so much to this because when I'm not streaming and like I was like this in school I'd be like all pretty in school and I'd come home and I'd just sit and I'd be like playing games and just be a total bum and she puts on this little hamster hoodie she shrinks and
season two, I like it a lot more, and they really changed it up. So I I recommend it. It's not season three is not so um bleez as the other seasons, which I mean it's anime, so I don't really care, but. There, it, it's a little less um, in your face, uh, which is kind of good for me. But yeah, it's still really good. My sewing machine's not catching all the way. It's probably because of the glue. of setting up my camera stuff though. Like, yeah, yeah. Hopefully y'all don't find it too distracting and annoying of me doing this. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we were talking about Umaru and is it wrong to pick up a girls in dungeons? Yes. Sorry, I didn't I didn't know if that was which one, yeah. Okay, um, I do want to just slightly, slightly trim this around. So I'm not cutting the orange fabric, I'm just cutting the white. Together. 
Um, I think these are the right ones. Let's see. No, that one goes to that one. That one goes to that one. Okay. Kick it. And pin. Did I watch Sword or Oratoria? Uh, I don't think so. And I don't think I'm saying that right either. or sewing uh crafting <laughs> well crafting and sewing are kind of the same thing but i prefer working with like doing like more props and armor versus sewing uh just because my sewing skills aren't like i'm okay at sewing but i'm not like an expert and sewing is harder for me But typically how I do my cosplays is from each cosplay build, if I do a big armor, I normally go into doing some sewing stuff. If I'm working in EVA foam for a project, I then go and work in like leather instead for the next one. Um, so I constantly am changing the materials that I'm working in so I don't get bored because I'm very ADD of getting bored at things, hence why I make costumes so fast, because if I take more than like a month or two, I've lost interest in what I'm making at that point. Um, so yeah. <laughs> but yeah, if anybody has any questions, y'all can always ask. E. It's a side story, but not the side of pick. Oh, okay, can you put that in the, in Discord? So I can, uh, I can look that up. Cause I'm gonna forget. You know the only- oh yeah. <laughs> now this is our first one day build for a sewing project. Um, otherwise we've done for our other one day builds the uh, Highland Shield and Klee's backpack, which I need to finish painting. I'm hoping maybe to finish painting this weekend, but I don't think it's gonna happen. Um, I still need to finish. I have three coats of plastic dip on the top of Huteo's hat for our Genshin Impact like hat thing I was making, um, but I need to do it on the bottom, so. But yeah, there's our little, little things. Where did I, oh, my phone's over there now. But yeah, so question for people that have seen like my other streams of our sewing stuff set up. Do y'all prefer, if we're doing like mostly sewing for a, a uh, costly stream here on Twitch, do you prefer the sewing setup to be this way or how I normally have it? So 
welcome to our sub big. Alright, uh, oh, we need to change to orange. Can you feel it's kind of the same? Maybe a bit easier for the camera movement, but point of view, uh, wise, really like. Okay. Well, I didn't know since. So this way I can at least turn and look at the camera, where the other way it's my back. So I wasn't sure on that. But, good to know. Ideally, if I had a fourth camera, like, I could have one set up here to see me or something. Okay, what do you need? Dry. Er, do I have any others? I do, I do. I had two of these set up. for the workbench. So we've got the, the main camera here, we have the close-up here for the sewing machine and for the table, and then we have the one for my workbench. This is definitely harder for my camera though. It's like, we don't like this. actually been in my stream so chat
my, that is awful. Oh my. I I should have um should have done a test with this beforehand. This is gross, gross, gross. <laughs> it's it's nice and pretty on the top. The back is um nice and bad, so my tension's off. Get some scraps.
test it first uh, to make sure I'm okay with this. so it's not a complete mess when working with it. Attention to detail is always nice, yeah. But you don't see them. <laughs> okay, we go back over here now. So much orange fluff. So much, so much. Time to flip it. It's so cute. So cute. Can you stretch? Okay, I'll do that in just a second. <laughs> hmm. something you could buy which I always like that with my stuff okay good stretching good stretching way to go team 
<laughs> Cheers. All right. Yeah, and this is where, I don't know necessarily I'm gonna need to stuff them or not. So the idea for this is, so I'm thinking like the hoodie, the back part will be one piece and then the front part will be another piece. So there'll be a seam where the front hood part comes and then this will go in between on the hood things. And if they're stitched like this, I mean, it already sticks up quite a bit because the felt holds it and having the, we did the edge part. So I don't know if we're gonna need to or not. I think they're pretty good. I, I just want to do like little, little finger, like doo -doo -doo, little finger, little pads for kitties. <gasps> no, we could make them into little kitten mittens. Little kitten mittens. Oh, she would hate me. She would absolutely hate me. <laughs> Can't stitch right now. Just had breakfast. You're gonna pop if you stretch. <laughs> What did you have for breakfast? We must know, we must know. Okay, so that is that. Uh, the next thing is going to be attaching all of the other pieces, the, the face pieces. And for this, I want to cut out or shape the rest of them on this side so we can make sure they're all perfectly aligned. Um, so we don't need that anymore. Mm, don't need that anymore. another sneeze coming it's sneaking up yeah so ideally we'll want it to sit like right there like it's a little big but I prefer it to be seen so yeah sunny side up eggs bathed in red salsa chocolate milk and a uh, concha bread I don't know what that is or maybe I'm reading it wrong basement filled with previous builds uh no i have a storage room um that has my 3d printer and has like shelving systems one shelving systems for my photography equipment and then two or four my cosplay materials so like one's nothing but sewing and fabrics and threads and other ones just leather and then the top ones because i have tall ceilings in here um have the cosplays and then half of them are hung on the walls so okay uh i'm gonna really quickly I'm gonna flip to this one and I'm just kind of kind of figure this out how I want to do this I'm not filming my no go that way speaking of food you need some I know I'm getting hungry it's uh it's 12 for me so this material it does not have the soft part on the inside uh, or on the opposite side, it only has it on the outside, but I don't know if I have enough fabric to do both sides. Yeah, yeah, so I'm not sure if we'll do that or not. I mean, I have quite a bit. Let's see. I think I'm gonna have to lay this on the floor. Whatever. All right. 
So we're gonna need probably, probably about like that much for the hood, the front hood. So I think if we split it, it's gonna be roughly about that height. If we were to do a lining on the inside, which means that would go to, let's see, how I do my measurements. That, that actually is a good height. I mean, it's not gonna go to the ground and I'm not expecting it to. It goes to like a little bit past the knees maybe. Maybe, maybe. And then it'd be lined on the inside. Cause you're supposed to have it where you like sit with it wrapped around you. It's not supposed to be like you're standing in it really. So I think, I think we can do that. Hmm, hmm. The fabric is so soft. Yeah, it's a, the blanket material. It's like a fleece. So. It was a little expensive though. I think it was like 10 or $12 a yard. Okay, so if we do that, that'll be for the top. This is for this side. If I wrap it around, that's the other question. So how much does it wrap around me? Hmm. Oh yeah, that's good, that's good. Hmm. Oh, I need to turn this up. Boop, boop, boop. My mirror. So it's gonna be like that and then have a hook. A hook there. And then we'll, oh, I can't do this. It's so heavy right now. It'll be like that. I look so pretty. KK. Yeah. Well, now that I got that figured out, we're going to fold it and cut it. See my hands are on me. It's funny. This is gonna be when we lose power in the end of the world. Like, I'm gonna just wear this everywhere. Mm-hmm. My warm little blanket. <laughs> okay, let me get this and we're gonna cut it. E. With 
coffee? No coffee. No coffee for me. Mm -mm. <laughs> okay. I think that should be enough. If we do here, here, and then there, I think. Let me look at a reference image real quick. Just to make sure. So let me get this out. There. I have this out because I thought we were going to use it, but I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Okay. So that, I want to weigh it down to. I'll never remove it when I'm at home. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I know coffee. I don't like coffee. I don't like the taste and I don't like the smell. Imagine General Tiff wearing this on top of the tank destroying zombies. Yee. <laughs> you know me too well. Too well. Mm hmm. to use and basically we want it to go around like that I think so let's do a, a shape real quick I'm thinking it's gonna be more in here we're just gonna do a full sheet like that oh. okay <laughs> we'll see if that works or if it starts a uh, pulsing again
roughly like that, I think. And then we'll also want a seam allowance with it. So we'll go ahead and cut it. We're just going to cut one out for now. to see now. I'm thinking it's a little high. just with our pattern too. And if you're just getting here, welcome, my name is Tiffany from Tiffany Gordon Crossway and happy sub day. Today is the day dedicated to my sub community here on Twitch to say thank you for your support. And our sub community got to vote on what I would be making in one day. And uh, today we are making Umaru's hamster hoodie. So yes, thank you, thank you, thank you.
It's gonna be cute. Yeah, cola. All right, we need to trace one more now. Onto here. Good, 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 good. Save this. We shouldn't use any more of it, but just in case. So we have our two halves, but we're only going to work with one right now. I should have done a mark also on the bottom. Yeah, <laughs> that's why I tend to buy extra fabric too. I'd rather have it than have to drive again to go find more. Okay, so there is that. We're gonna get this so we know where our center is. We're gonna put it is used for plushy suit. Yeah, this is the same type. Uh, this, these parts aren't though, this is felt with an adhesive back. But yeah, I wanted it to be soft. And the last one. 
episode goes smoothly on. Thanks for stopping by and have a good rest of your day. Yeah, I'd say we're probably like 60% done, if not more. Okay, now to pull it up. I'll stuck it a little bit to the paper. And there's our cute little face. <laughs> oh. I'm pretty happy with this. This is this is cute and adorable. Mhm. Mm It's definitely larger than the show, but I'm okay with this, so. Okay, I'm gonna set it up for us to sew, you can see my little handprints. My tiny little handprints. Um, I'm gonna set it up so we can sew it now. So. Boop, 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 boop. We need to test it before we sew it. our little test first to make sure it is good. Doesn't sound like it's picking. Ooh, no, it is not happy with that. Definitely not happy with that. Glad we did our test. Kitchen. 
Yeah. It's, there's something, uh, so you want the top part to have a slight tension when it goes and sews and you don't want to be able to pull it and it's not perfectly doing that and I think that's what's causing our issues. That or my needle, not too grimy yet. Oh, that might be it. My thread is broken there. <laughs> sewing machine acts up. Now we got our tension. Good, good. Sewing science.
issue. It's the um, adhesion. So it's got the glue on the back of the belt. And when you have a needle going through, it causes friction that reactivates the glue and heats it up. And the heat residue gets stuck to the needle as it goes in and out. So if it's sticky at all, uh, the thread will actually stick to the needle. But this needle should work fine with what we're doing. But yeah, my sewing machine in general um, is not, I need to clean it again. It's not uh, catching the, the thing. Okay, I think that'll work. Let's change out to black now. general doesn't like to go slow it likes to go faster for these we're just gonna do a straight stitch down Write it down. <laughs> Daniel, thank you for gifting no spaceship a sub as well. Best up.
in. I mean, if I was doing this where it was felt that didn't have the adhesive back, um, and I just pinned it, it'd be a lot easier to sew, but it would move on us. And I would really need to do like an embroidery kind of edge rather than just doing a straight easy stitch. can see see our cute littleness of it but yeah Ta -da! <laughs> I'm gonna trim our little little threads on the back for a second and I just got so much orange fluff all over me um, so these are gonna end up attaching like here in here so when we do this I'm gonna want them on the inside like that like that I think this one we actually have to leave the bottom open and then when we flip it we'll have to do I know look the the nah, nah. <laughs> um I have to vacuum after but um I'm glad 
I'm glad I'm thinking about this for a second. So when we flip it, we'll have to then fold our line together. And then we'll just have a seam on the underside. Yeah. Okay, good. Okay, so with that being said, let's do, before we do that, I wanna close this. I'm pretty sure I'm fine with how they are. The felt is actually really like stiff. So I don't think we're gonna have issues with it falling over considering I can just kinda, yeah. Possibly, possibly, possibly. But uh, let's go ahead and close the bottom part first. Let the critters in and they will sweep up. Oh gosh. So I'm just gonna pin it together real quick. Do the other one. I feel so much better now that I ate. Whew. Okay, there and there are little, little cute little ears. Mm -hmm. I'm also gonna have to change my white bounce. It's a little, a little bright, um, a wee bit now. But that's what we get for, you know, live, live streaming. Um, and working. Let's try one down. Or is that too dark now? Okay, we'll try the other thing. Boop, boop. Oh, it doesn't go down. Okay, well, I guess this is what we got. Okay. To the sewing machine. change 
whatever all the machine, you know, all those twirls and turns of the thread. Um, so a lot of this has to do with tension. And then inside the machine, you have this part has a mechanism. That part right there, there's actually a little thing that hooks it. And when you sew, it goes up and down with the needle. You have uh, the configuration of just the machine to do everything. So it has to do with like tension wise, of keeping this in that. Um, same with the bottom, there's a bunch of, so when you do all this and this and this, it keeps it to go into your automatic lock. It also is putting it through, uh, there's like a turn down here and it's automatically feeding it into the machine to go in here. So the machine's doing this and then it's making basically like your needle, let's pretend is like that and this, so it goes down, this goes over and it comes back up and kind of like pulls it. Like that's not the exact diagram, but that's like the best I can explain for it. Pokemon Pug and welcome back, uh, wizard. We just had dinner, or lunch, not dinner, lunch. I did change to a different needle. He did not sound happy. Write it down, write it down. <laughs> Daniel, thank you for getting uh getting pug a sub also. Much love. You're just like the gifting fairy right now. You get a gift or a sub, you get a sub. Happy Sunday to all. Yeah, I'm good with that. Okay, so let us continue. We're gonna do you, you. It's a bit, yeah. Oh, I do need to update our sub count though. Um, we're at 68. And I think it's at 66, so I'll need to update in just a second. Let's just go. Alrighty. Hopefully my machine is going. Sounds like it's having a little difficulty again. It's like, maybe it's cause the fluff was on the outside this time. Sewing. <laughs> uh, thank you for the new follow. What's up? Off, so I'm gonna cut 
another little strip of fabric so we can test test again since it did not like what we did oh is it still recording too it is you can see Oops. okay yeah if you're just joining us welcome my name is tiffany from tiffany Gordon cosplay we are today doing something which on our channel is a day dedicated to saying thank you to my sub community here on Twitch. And my sub community got to vote on what we would make in one day. And today we are making Umaru's hamster hood, a hamster hoodie. So yes. again but it was it seems like it's still having having some issues today so uh, let's do since it's a different side now Y'all enjoy the number. Yeah, that works now. No problems, but the other way had <laughs> issues. So, uh, Magic Marker Studio, thank you for the raid. Much love and welcome everyone from uh, your your stream. Yes. <laughs> welcome, welcome. Hope you had a good stream today. We are doing a one day build making Umaru hoodie today and we've got the ears made the face made and so we're now like sewing all of the little components together we were what were you doing last streaming makers and crafting what were you working on it was good you're con crunching for dragon con ah very cool very cool what you were making, but I don't remember offhand. Can you remind me? Uh, from okay, gotcha, gotcha. Okay. Write it down, write it down! <laughs> Danielle, thank you for giving uh, Magic Marker Studio a sub as well. Much love. All right. That one is done. I do want to do her edge though. Yeah, this is uh, Umaru, which is an anime, and it's one of my favorite ones, so I'm happy we're making it. I very much relate to her and her sitting and sitting around playing games and being a bum. So it's been good. I find it funny though of like, so I normally stream at one, but on our Sundays we stream a lot earlier. And I get that everybody's used to my normal streaming time. So everyone comes at one still. <laughs> but yeah, we've been getting a lot of stuff done. 
You've seen Umaru, it's a very fun anime. Yay! <laughs> All right. Yeah, we've got our, our little happy, kind of happy face, sleepy hamstery face thing. It looks silly to me. yourself uh, so you gotta head out but you'll leave your like awesome well happy happy eating and thanks for bringing all your people over here have a good rest of your day oh, swords are all weathered now to dry nice 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 okay we need to decide I'm thinking I want them probably here so we're just gonna do attack one so I can kind of see it on my head. <laughs> you have one more piece to cut out, then you have uh, your pattern pieces for the mock up. Uh, nice! Cool, cool. Oreo cookies for lunch. Uh, that's okay. Okay. <laughs> it's food, so that's good. Kind of see. Is that where we want it? Or do we want it kind of spaced out more? I think we kind of want them spaced out a little bit more. Maybe a little farther down. Birthday cake flavor? They have birthday cake Oreos? My favorite Oreo is the uh, red velvet cheesecake ones. Those are great. And then the, um, the mint. The mint's also pretty good. Okay, I think it's roughly there. It's a little too far now. Like back and forth, back and forth. <laughs> Here's our full of chocolate in and out. Oh, okay. I just realized that this makes me think of um, Impossible from Bravest Warriors. <laughs> I think that's kind of where it is that we want it. Yeah. Okay, so we're gonna have it as there. Uh, are they in the same spot? That is the question. That is the question. Um, no, they are not in the same spot whatsoever. Let's move you. I'm glad, so I did before we attached everything, we put a marker in the center. So this kind of helps us realize where it is. One more check. Are we happy with that? Or do we want it closer? I think I'm okay with this. Okay. So, next thing is we need 
need to turn it over. And then we're gonna pin the ears in place. sew these down first and then we'll put the next one on top so we make sure it doesn't move on us um, there's a good possibility to do that I'm gonna just Yee. really quickly sew it uh, so I'm not gonna move this camera since we're gonna come and pin so uh, straw love thank you for the new follow thanks Seth Yes, and I went through the pens. <laughs> oh, I don't know if I marked that you did another one. I think we're at six today for you, Daniel. Um, but I may be off, like, by seven. I don't know. Jason, welcome on. Happy Sunday. Hope you're going well today. Are you doing well? I assume you're at the shop working. for our one day build Umaru's hamster hoodie. back and forth so I can make sure it kind of evenly goes.
It's like our next step. We're gonna start making little plushy animals. <laughs> yep, at the shop working. Uh, oh, okay, cool, cool. Well, hopefully everything is going okay. No too bad of problems today. Good, 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 good. Now to sew it. Bubblies! Hi, Bubbly Pop. What are you doing? You want to say hi? Oh. Yeah, you want to say hi to everybody? Oh, hey, Bubblies. Yeah, you're such a good girl. You're a good girl. <laughs> write it down write it down uh shane thank you for the tier two resub of 38 months hi hi hope you're doing well with uh jason today oh write it down so far uh no <laughs> okay yeah, no, there's no glitter for this one. Um, not for this project. Uh, da da da, da da da. I zoned out for like two seconds. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Alrighty. Uh, I set that up. There. There, and then I'm gonna move this over here. Sorry if the camera moves. I can't help it at this point for her. <laughs> Don't hurt yourself, Buffalies. Alrighty. Good girl. Are y'all on your lunch break right now? She just never got the memo of the stuff. <laughs> yeah, true, true. She's a funny thing, though. Oh, well that's cool. 
to it, so. We've had a bunch of people coming on recently that have said they didn't know this was even a category, which makes me sad because I know there's so many people that just don't know about this, but i um, happy that people can find it, so. Watch the podcast too. Thanks. Yeah, I've been, uh, last year I was a judge for their contest. Um, I help out a lot on the behind the scenes for them. And then I was on one of their podcasts. But yeah. Okay, we're just gonna an extra little bit, maybe. My scissors will cut it. I did not like cutting it very much. I even tried cutting from the back. I got them kind of gunked up with a bunch of, when I was cutting Velcro that had adhesive on the back, um, I didn't clean it off, so it's got gunk. But this fabric in general is just like, yeah. she's watching, and this is so cute. You're so good, Flappies. You're a good kitty. Hopefully the makers will take over. Yeah. It's like 
like a live feed camera and they have like a few of them and the cameras will follow the otters too. It's pretty cool. The cat one is just like, it's a, a breeder who just has cameras of all of the kittens. So they change out all the time. I mean, if I, so the plan is to sew these both together and this is gonna be the top so we have it fluffy on the inside, but technically I could have just a hat. A little silly hat. to collaborating with companies to make props would you ever sell one of your cosplays to a company if they came asking after it um so I've had that discussion if with other companies and for me if it was on display I'm fine with that but I wouldn't feel comfortable with other people wearing it just because it's more of like I don't know who the person is wearing it how they're gonna act in it which represents like my brand if the costume falls apart while somebody else is wearing it because they they were misusing it or something then that looks bad on me as well but uh in terms of display wise i would be totally fine with that but it would it would have to be like a lot of discussion for having other people wear it but yeah for for display stuff i would I would definitely do that. And cheers, guys. I know they have their museum for for statues, but I don't know if they do they have one for cosplays too. If so, you wanna hook me up? <laughs> something. Mm, grump, grump, grumps. Grump, 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 grumps. We're gonna have to take this apart. <laughs> so, 
I needed to have, basically we do need to have it backwards and then that's sewn where they're just like that. Crumb crumbs. Okay, I, I, yeah, I messed up on that. I didn't think about it. I was thinking, but then I was, yeah. I'll show you what I mean in a second. see how well this comes apart. I sewed it so nicely. So now it's it's gonna be like twice as much. Grump grumps. <sighs> they have a whole warehouse where they archive blizzard stuff and they have historians who cultivate exhibit statues, art props, and cosplay. That is really cool. Yeah, I, I'd be interested in that. such a pain to remove. I blame Fluff. She just she distracted me with her cuteness. Like I had the right idea for this. It just I did it backwards. Yeah. <laughs> no, it wasn't supposed to be a hat. Now the, the thing that we're doing, it's supposed to have the fluff on the inside too. And I was doing that right. But for me doing this, like we want the top to look like this. We don't want the, um, the two pieces to come together and be stitched like this. So I need the outside to actually look like that instead. So when the two seams come together, yeah. Hope that made sense. It'll make sense once I redo it though. It's just gonna set us back like a few minutes. But it looks cool as a hat. just hovering right outside the window. Typically when sewing clothes and things, I only do like tack stitching. I'll put the whole thing together and then do all my edges, but I thought I was doing it all correctly. I was wrong. I know, bird. Shiny. No, it's really cool because it was just like hovering right there, like eye level. They wanted to see what I was doing because don't you know I'm a Disney princess and all of the critters like to come and say hi to me, including the butterflies? Mm hmm I've been told this quite a few times. <laughs> I'm not a Disney princess though. Oh, this is gonna be such a nightmare. Never made a Disney fan. No. I don't have an interest in that. I'm not a ball gown kind of gal. The closest I've made to a Disney princess is Khaleesi. Cyberpunk Snow White. <laughs> well, I guess technically I've made Snow White. It was just a Snow Alice. Um, one. So that was, that was, uh, I, Snow White's a princess, right? 
Or she at least turns into a queen, I think. I assume she she got married to the prince um, when he woke her up, but I, I might be wrong on that assumption. Maybe. They lived happily ever after until the next season and they they got into a fight yeah i just never i never like i've seen all the movies and stuff but i'm not big into like sing-along things and i don't want to build a snowman and yeah that one has actually the the main, I don't know if it's Elsa or Anna, um, but the main Snow Queen from Frozen. I've gotten a lot of requests for me to do her costume. No, I mean so much. Yes, the, the cringe for me was in high school going on band trips and being on the girls bus and it was nothing but Disney movies and everybody singing along. Mmm, not my thing. Not my thing. Cool if it's your thing. It's not mine. <laughs> reindeer I don't remember or is he the dude I've seen it once I haven't seen the second one though oh I'm like I, I almost feel like it'd be better if I just like cut it and made it a tiny bit shorter at this point I think that's really what I need to do the snowman ah be cool to do Elsa as a Mendelian. Oh, I, I've seen that before. But that's another thing is I'm not big into that either. I know everybody's gonna be like grump grump grumps, but it's just, it's not my thing. Okay, we're gonna cut it. chat in just a second I'm finishing cutting this y'all saw nothing there was no mistake made nothing well we'll just cut this out of the stream for when it goes down to YouTube nobody will know it, it's like the TikTok of no one will know or whatever the, the thing is yeah idea of what I was doing, but I mistaked the order of it, so yeah. Well, five minute fix. 
fix. Where's that little guy? I need to keep this though in that spot. All coming together. Mm hmm. Then we're then we're going to flip it and sew this flat. That's what we're doing. Uh, that way. Wah. Okay. There is our center line. It's still on. Thank goodness. Correcting measures for tutorials. Oh, that stuff's just gonna be edited out. You won't see any of this. Yeah. Yeah. You look at the camera um, of your device, you'll see a flash. It's a picture today, not erasing your memory. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I keep seeing it getting a little laggy on my end. Um, is that happening for all too? Take two. It wasn't a huge mistake though, just set us back five minutes. I should have done the first way I thought. And I, I thought it and I was like, no, we're doing it this way instead. Not just, yeah. I don't know, like, our bitrate's going up and down, so I don't know if something's downloading down the stairs or something. Hopefully it's not too bad for y'all. <laughs> the unknown! What's fun is when I record all this and I don't get to edit it for like two months and I come back and I'm just like, oh yeah, I messed up here. Now which part are the real footage and which ones aren't? Okay, now it's good. And now we can sew it. <laughs> get off of the, yeah. Supposedly a bunch of my friends are going to be playing the Sea of Thieves again tonight. So I might, um, I might play some of that. We will see, we will see. Okay, I'm going to move our stuff over here 